today. Look where I am. Yeah, this was my morning view. This is what I wash my teeth to. <laughs> you wash you wash your teeth listening to the news or watching TV. Well, oh, Jocelyn is calling. Wait. Jocelyn just called and invited me to Kamui tomorrow for the weekend. Uh, there's going to be a couple of us guys, the band lifers from Puerto Rico that are going to meet up and are, we're, uh, hopefully I'm going to get to record their rigs. So look forward for a couple of tours of the local band lifers uh, setups so you can see how we uh, handle it on the Caribbean. Right now, like I was telling you, I'm going to head down to the beach. Like, I bought this uh, uh, snorkeling setup at Walmart and I want to try it out on that uh, sea. As you can see, this is one of the best places to learn to scuba. As you can see, there are some people learning to scuba by the pier. Yeah, now you can see it. So, there's a lot of those piers that you can... Uh, um, jump from to the uh, to the water which is really fun but not gonna be doing that today I don't want an ear infection or anything yeah. let me close this down I'm gonna leave my water here because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be coming back to the camera and my phone charging because Wait a second. Left you here. I'm sorry. You guys are important. You have to come by. I slept here last night, which was really cool because it's the only spot that is illuminated at night. Nobody mess with the van. Nobody even park close to it. I had this all to myself. There's some people practicing water sport, sports all around. And it's uh, also a steep incline down. Like the road, that over there, as you can see, uh, that over there is the road. It's like a snake, a, a serpent, the road to get here. And it's an incline. That is the only spot that is leveled. So yeah, it has a couple of, at first I was parked right here, but I was afraid that the emergency brake was going to give out and I would end up falling down that ravine. Is it a ravine? I'm not even sure what a ravine is. I know what a rabbi is, but <laughs> look, so yeah. That is the, the um, beach spot in here.
yeah, this place has a variety of picnic areas that you can come and have a nice time with your family. It also has like a place for activities and some sort of kiosk. Probably have to rent it out, but it's still pretty cool. Maybe not. Maybe it's free. I don't know. Probably those are free. Maybe this you have to rent out, probably. It is a little bit decrepit, but still okay, I guess. It's a lot of bird pigeons and some holes on the roof, but that's okay. I guess it has withstood a lot. That's probably pretty old. It doesn't look like it's a new construction. It's probably from before the hurricanes. So yeah. This is the beach. I'm gonna come back with my scuba set and I'm going to practice. But let me get out to the light. Yeah, I'm gonna come back with my scuba set and practice here uh, snorkeling. But when I was, uh, last time I came here, that pier went uh, far deeper into the water. But after the hurricanes, uh, about, I guess, half of it or maybe most of it, yeah, most of it fell down. And the thing is that the first, that was the last time that I came here. The first time that I came here, there were even some Iceland, uh, some uh, square uh, piers that were separated from the main pier. That pier went really uh, deep into the water and we could swim. What we used to do was put half of the ice uh, in the coolers so we can use the cooler as a flotation device and me and all friends will fill it, the rest with beers and they will, we will use the cooler as a flotation device to get to the place and then it had some tires I guess for chips to uh, to not crash into it and we will use those to scale and we will have our own private island like really <laughs> deep uh, really in the deep uh, area of the ocean it was probably like 60 to 75 feet deep <laughs> this has changed a lot especially after the hurricane That was a nice morning walk because it was very bad at terrain. I had all the cliffs from where I was going down and then coming back up. I had the sandy terrain right in the middle. It was like the best, uh, what is it, walk that you can have. It's very bad at types of terrain and endurances. Like coming up the, the cliff right now, I was, I almost stopped, but I decided not to because I need to build up my cardio. Yeah, well, wasn't that one of the rules of the, uh, what was it, the zombie movie? <laughs> cardio. Yeah, so I had to keep up my cardio 
I need to um, start exercising more, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take these guys after I get rehydrated. I'm going to take these guys for a test drive. Yeah, it's the cheapest set I could find. The fins were only $20, they were on clearance and I got uh, two uh, different size feet, one is 9 and the other is 12, which makes it very hard to find a, a comfortable pair of shoes besides Converse. <laughs> um, but these are 9 to 12 and I already fitted them on and they fit snug. Uh, snug yeah and the mask I also tried it and you know um, did the thing where you push it against and your eyeballs start popping out and it had a lot of um, sucking power <laughs> suction I guess yeah <laughs> Yeah, broken English rocks. <laughs> so, yeah, now I'm going to leave my phone charging and I'm going to go back and... What time is it? I can't check the time when it's recording. Well, I'm going to go back and enjoy the rest of the afternoon in the beach and trying out my new fins and snorkeling gear. I'm going to try it out here because as you can see, the, there are no waves today. This is really nice. Hmm. So yeah, and no, I, I cannot keep recording, guys. <laughs> I need to go out there and have fun, so. Ah, hey guys, what a day I had today. I'm still very burned by the sun and the sun still hasn't gone down that's the sunset right from my bed I got two beers of it if I lay down this side I can also see the sunset, um, kinda. Yeah, I spotted the van right where the sunset, the, the tree covers the sun. So I got the sunset on the back, but I got shade on all this part. Yeah.